in Indiana. My name's Debbie Scheid and we're fossil collecting with the dry dredgers. We have uh, 25 cars that have shown up. How long have you been hunting here? We've been here about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half, and this is some of the things they found. Okay. They're here with their grandpa. Part of a cephalopod. Let me get up close. It's a little bit muddy. Not okay. great. And what do you have, Christina? Corn coral. Okay. okay. And what did you find? Corn coral. I see. You got a corn coral, coral too. Coral. Okay. Okay, Christina, I got another little piece here. You know what this is? The real little rings? Yeah. Remember? Cry crinoid. Crinoid. Crinoid, right. Okay. So you got a piece of crinoid, then we found some good shells, you got a piece of trilobite I gave you in your other bag. Yeah. So you did a great job today. And what do we say these are, you're walking on the bottom of an ancient what? Ocean. An ancient ocean, right. Actually seabed. Because it wasn't quite as deep as right. in the ocean. It wasn't real, real deep. It was like when we go to the beach where you walk out a little bit. It wasn't real deep. And we always said about 450 million years ago. So you guys did very, very good. What? Here's a nice shell. Grandpa's going to use that piece as a teaching piece. Because it's got three different types in there. So that's good. What's up? Okay. Daddy's been searching a while and she found something caught her eye. Interesting uh, trace spots. Debbie found a plesiopod that's open. Large cephalopod. Large cephalopod. And some uh, brachiopods. Okay. Connor has been collecting away for more than half an hour. He's found a pile of little brachiopods. Honor, what have you found up there? Uh, stuff. What kind of stuff? Mostly just seashells. Brian Garrett. Okay, and he found his first trail bike today. What did you find, Mark? Just a couple of cephalopods up in the whitewater formation. So, this oh, one. That's big. That's all I could find of it. Kind of muddy right now, but boy, they'll clean up. Yeah, and then uh, this one is all I could find. Uh, there wasn't any more. I, I tried to trace it back into the into the rack. And... Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kyle. Okay. Uh, found a quilled cephalopod. Oh.
compound eyes that are intact. Compound eyes of a trilobite. I'm getting a close up. I'm not sure who collected this, but since I'm walking by, I'll show you. Um, this is what's called turkey tracks. Farmer slang for what these are. They're really uh, trilobite burrows. And this one, coincidentally, is intersecting and it gives the appearance of a uh, bird's foot imprint. It's just coincidence. Keegan found himself a sea ripple. Point out the ripple part, Keegan. Okay. Finding something so little, this is the, actually the correct way to look for uh, a lot of fossils get down on your hands and knees because the little trilobites and the little crinoids, uh, you have to be up close finding them and picking them out of the ground. We jokingly in the club say the kids have an advantage because they're, sh they're uh, shorter, but closer to the ground to identify things easier. There could be some truth to it. These may be uh, clam impressions. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. We've walked all the way down. This is looking back. This is another rock about three feet across too. Ooh, look at that. There's Isotelus trilobite trail. Oh, this is a hypostome mouth plate of an Isotelus trilobite. Look at this slab. Got some horn coral here. There's one there, one there. And actually, here's another one. There's another one up there. Another one there. Ooh, look. Look at all the pyrite in this rock. Look, it's all rusting out. Deep reds, burgundies, kind of brassy color. This rock is about three feet across. Connor uh, collected a bunch of uh, clay with fossils in it, or should I say silty stuff. Anyway, he's washing off all the, all the fossils out of it. He's going to town. Finding a bunch of brachiopods. Normally just let them erode out, but he, I don't know. I'm letting him have fun. I think we've created a monster. 
exposing him to all these paleo ideas and how to collect. He's learning this from the beginner's classes. I sit, sat in on Bill's microfossil thing about how to how to wash them out with the sieve. And, uh, and then he also uh, went out and found a crinoid holdfast, which he learned from uh, Jack's beginner's class on what they look like. So it pays off. The little guys learn.